This week on The Wire, market to power through JobKeeper and APRA not worried about loans and banks reduce fixed rates to under 2%. G'day guys, my name's Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate. We can get all the top stories happening this week in real estate, finance, investment and more. Our top story for this week, market to power through JobKeeper and so the property market is set to roll on despite some economic support measures coming to an end, defying worries about the looming fiscal cliff, and that's according to top economists around the country. Now the strength of bricks and mortar barely faltered during the pandemic recession with the property prices edging lower briefly in the biggest cities in 2020 before rising in both capital cities and regional centres. At the height of the crisis last year, house price declines of 10 to 20% or more were predicted amid fears of a fiscal cliff in September 2020 when income support measures were due to end. But income support measures were extended for another six months with tapered payments from October. Now, JobKeeper will end by 28th of March, while job seeker payments are set to be reduced. EY Oceania Chief Economist Joe Masters acknowledges the pain to come for those who will lose work, but believes it will have little or no implications for a housing market that continues to gather pace. Now, guys, for our next story. APRA not worried about loans. New data suggests changes to mortgage lending rules in the near future are unlikely despite rapid rising home values. APRA data suggests that while the proportion of loans considered to be higher risk showed a slight increase in the December quarter, the regulator saw no evidence of a material relaxation in lending standards. CoreLogic's Eliza Owen says the indicators of lending standards are being carefully watched. Borrowing for the purchase of residential property hit a record of $28.8 billion in January, up 35% on the decade average. This has also contributed to housing values reaching a new record high, Eliza says. Owen says there's no evidence of any major deterioration in lending standards, suggesting there is no need for interventions in the form of tighter credit policies. Now, the portion of new mortgages lent on interest only, terms hit 19.2% the December 2020 quarter, up from 185 in the previous quarter. This is not far from the 18.7% average seen over the past two years, and it is also well below the recorded high of 45.6 recorded in the June 2015 quarter. And now guys, for our final story of the week. Banks reduce fixed rates to under 2%. So NAB has become the latest big bank to decrease some of its fixed home loan rates. In recent months, Westpac and Commonwealth Bank have both cut at least one home loan rate to below 2% per annum with only ANZ yet still to do so. Now NAB has reduced various fixed investment, interest only and packaged home loans by up to 15 basis points. The lowest rate amongst the affected loans is 1.89% belonging to the choice package tailored fixed loan for two years, paying principal and interest. Another NAB loan cut to sub 2% mark is the tailored fixed loan for two years, that's principal and interest with an advertised rate of 1.99%. Now these cuts by NAB follow a plethora of recent rate cuts, many of which were made to two year fixed loans. Recently, Homestar Finance cut out the competition offering the lowest two year fixed rate in history with just 1.74% with its variable rate also the lowest at 1.79. Well guys, they're the top stories for this week. Please don't forget to like, comment, share this video and follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Have a great week and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. Thanks a lot, bye for now.